Welcome to Becoming a Wine Expert. In the next 90 minutes or so, I'm going to teach you what it took me, hmm, easily I would say five years to learn on my own. Once you start learning about wine, it's, it's an endless road, right? It's an endless road that you actually want to be on. Very quick, a show of hands. How many people liked wine one? How many people liked wine two? They're the same wine. <laughs> Do serving temperatures change the way a wine tastes? Should you really let a wine breathe? Can you tell anything by smelling a cork? Wine is the only communal beverage. It implies sharing, and that sharing brings us closer. Women metabolize alcohol at half the rate of men. God, what were you thinking, right? <laughs> it's a tiny place, the Napa Valley, yet hidden among its mountains, ridges, and canyons are amazing secret pockets of vineyards that no GPS could ever find. Really, at its core, wine is merely liquid flavor. All of the great wines of the world are, in fact, the voice of a place. But no one really knows where complexity comes from. And because no one knows where it comes from, it's all the more part of wine's mystery. People ask me all the time, what's a great cooking wine? And then I have to explain, because to me, a cooking wine is what you drink while you're cooking. All of the great people in wine are great not because they have a better palate than anyone else in this room, but because they're good at language. Wine and food are all about living well, and when you pair them together in a way that makes the flavors explode, well, it doesn't get better than that.